Hello there, this is Jake from Reverb. If you've been paying any attention to the bass market in the past few years, you may have noticed an uptick in the number of short scales flying around. You might also be wondering why that is. The answer to me is pretty simple. It's because they're awesome. So today, I want to talk about short scales and show you seven different ones you can find right now on Reverb. So first, let's get the definition out of the way. What is a short scale? Typical bass length is 34 inches from the bridge to the nut. And a short scale is simply anything under 31 inches. There's a couple basses, and we'll actually look at one today that kind of goes over that, but generally it's under 31 inches. A couple of key differences we gotta talk about before we dive in. First, it's probably the most obvious one, this is a smaller bass. So if you have smaller hands or say a smaller body, you might find this to be a little bit more comfortable. You might also be a really, really big person who just likes the look of having a really tiny bass in your hands. This would be a cool way to go. For me, I like it because it keeps me a little bit more honest. I feel like I play less notes because this leads to the second point. The frets are a little bit smaller. So if you're used to stretching a lot on a longer bass, these frets are a little bit more forgiving. The strings tend to run a little bit looser than they would on a standard scale. So if you like doing bends or if you like getting vibrato, it's a little bit easier. Lastly, this is probably the most important to me, the way that the overtone series works on a short scale is a little bit different from a standard scale. Because the string length is smaller from the nut to the bridge, you don't get as many of the upper overtones or upper harmonics. So what you do get is a much fuller, much richer fundamental, a thicker low end. All right, so let's take a look. Seven awesome short scale basses, starting in the most obvious place. With the rise in popularity of the P bass, in the 50s, other companies started to compete by designing different body types and different scale lengths. Now, arguably the most ubiquitous of them all is the violin style bass, is made famous by Paul McCartney. I don't wanna spend too much time talking about the specs today, but there's a couple of important points we gotta hit on each of these. This Hofner, we've got a 30 inch scale length from the bridge to the nut. The nut radius is a little smaller than even some other short scales. It's about 42 millimeters up here, 48 down at the 12th fret. So you don't have a ton of real estate for playing across this thing, but some people are into that. Paul certainly is. And the last, but maybe most important point to mention is that this thing is hollow all the way through. So you get a nice woody kind of sound, almost like an upright sound when you pluck this with your fingers, especially when you've got flat wounds on it, which is sort of like the most ubiquitous string type with a lot of short scale basses. The reason there is that you get a lot of that rounded kind of bull sound and without the round wounds, you, you get less of the upper harmonics like we were talking about with the short scale, but it's like even more less of them, if that makes any sense. I'm pretty sure that made sense, right? Now this one here is a 62 reissue, but they make a lot more affordable options all the way down the line. This is also one of the most copied bass styles in history. So you can find a lot of cool Japanese versions, even makers like Epiphone and Rogue had some pretty cool versions of this that are much more affordable. Let's take a look at another short scale that was being made around the same time period, but across the pond back here in the States. What we have here is a 73 Gibson EBO SG style short scale bass. Now the original EBOs were modeled after the Les Paul Juniors. This particular design was finalized sometime in like the mid to late 60s and was popularized by Jack Bruce, the band Cream. A couple things that stand out right away. One, most Gibson style basses that you're gonna find are gonna have these big fat humbuckers right here in the middle. Give it that big fat sound. This neck is 30.5 inches scale length. And it's a mahogany body, so it's pretty freaking heavy. These humbuckers are really hot, and in my opinion, sound the best with some round rounds. So that's what we put on it. All right, moving on, we have uh, one of these things. 
I don't actually know what it is. It's a Tele style base, that's for sure. It was definitely made in Japan, because this neck plate says so. And it was made roughly sometime in the 70s, but that's about all that we know about it. So why am I showing this to you? Well, obviously, it's really cool. But what's particularly cool about it is that this is one of many different styles of short scale and other sort of offset, no name, you know, who knows what the brand is kind of bases that were coming out of Japan and other countries in the 60s and 70s. These are still very high quality bases, very affordable. This one's going for about 500 bucks and they're just really cool. I mean, where else are you ever gonna find a short scale Tele style base with flat wounds, no less. Now let's move on and take a look at a Fender style short scale. Now Fender is one of the biggest names in both bass and guitars. They developed the P bass and the jazz bass, but they also made and continue to make a ton of short scale style basses. The Music Master, to the Mustangs here, to some of the Squire Vintage Modified series, to some of the weirder offset basses and guitars that they've been making now. They have a lot to offer as far as short scales. Today we wanted to look at a Mustang. Now this particular bass is a newer model. It's one of the Performer Series style Mustangs. Now I chose a Mustang because I thought it was pretty interesting that this is the last type of bass, bass design, that Leo Fender actually made before he moved on from Fender. Now the Performer Series is a great American made option at just over a grand. But there's plenty of affordable options out there by both Squire and the Made in Mexico series. <laughs> While we're on the subject of newer, affordable, US-made short scale basses, let's take a look at Gibson's new Les Paul Jr. Tribute Double Cutaway Bass. Now this particular bass is modeled after the original EBO that we had talked about before. This features a 30.5 inch scale length from the nut to the bridge, and some nice modern upgrades like the bass bucker pickups, as well as this push-pull pot to coil tap them. These things are super affordable new coming in at about a thousand bucks, which means that pretty soon they're gonna be showing up for even cheaper in the used market. So keep an eye out. Next, let's take a look at the Supro Huntington 3 bass. Now, Supro was another company that was doing a lot of really cool thing in the 60s with short scales. They've had a little bit of a resurgence as of late. This particular one has a 30 inch scale length, features a body based off their Ozark style bass that they had in the 60s, and the 3 comes with three gold foil pickups. Now, they also offer a Huntington 2 and 1. Each comes with two and then one pickup respectively. This particular one also includes a piezo style pickup with a push-pull pot. This feature is available in all their bases. This thing is a great modern feeling bass with a vintage sound and vibe with a ton of tonal options between these three pickups.
If you're really looking for a short scale base that's something truly all your own, look no further than the boutique market. With most boutique builders, what you're gonna get is a custom hand-built instrument, something that's gonna be completely all your own. One of my favorites in the market right now, Seric bases made right here in Chicago. What we have here is a bit of an odd base when you think about it with some of the other short scales that we've been seeing today. This is a Midwestern II style short scale base that's got a fifth string, slow B. Now with these Midwestern twos, five strings, you're gonna get 30.5 inch scale length from the nut to the bridge, all mahogany body, and hand wired proprietary five string pickups that Sarek actually designed himself, as well as a three way pickup selector between the two pickups, and then just your standard volume and tone knob. So that was just a quick overview of seven really, really cool short scale bases available. There are a ton of other makers out there available that I didn't get a chance to cover. So let me know in the comments what some of your favorites are. This is Jake with Reverb, signing off. See you next time. Bye, bye, bye. Sell, sell, sell. Long scales are out, short scales are in.